I'm going to show you how to do the ATNR integration exercise. There's multiple options. This is one option. Um, usually you do it both sides. So you can start with the one that is maybe um, a little bit less problematic and then go to the one that is more problematic. I don't know if it really matters. So the idea <clears throat> is that you're making sure that you're trying to integrate the patterns of a specific reflex. And what you're going to need to make sure is that your arm and leg are the same and the same side and your um, head is going to be going to the opposite to the ones that are bent. Okay, so it'll look like this. So because I'm looking at the camera, it makes sense that my looks like left leg, but it's reversed. I might screw this up. We'll see. My left leg is bent and my left arm is bent. My right arm is out straight. You can't really see it on the camera, but it's just out straight. And so is my left, or my right leg, right? So it looks like you're right. So you start with your head facing the ceiling. But then I look to the right and I look up. I'm actually kind of going towards my armpit, okay? I come back down. Go back to start position. So looking at the ceiling. Always start moving your head by rotating it and looking towards the armpit. So there's a flexion, but there's also a rotation. You hold it for a couple seconds, and then you come back down. If you were to do that 10 times and then switch it, all you do is bend, bend, straighten, straighten, and then look the other direction. Come back down. <clears throat> so I usually suggest you do it at least five times on the one side, and five times the other. But it's probably better to do 10 as long as it's not hurting your neck or you're feeling uncomfortable in any